morning. We're on a job in Charlotte. It's the same place we were at about a month ago where we did a day of mulching. Today we're cleaning up a bunch of trees that a guy came and cut. Eli and I are doing that with the Volvo and the grapple and Bill is down over the slope <clears throat> with the Kubota doing some mulching. So we're gonna try to get a lot of this done today. So let's get going. Well, we worked for about two hours of uh, processing trees and got rained out. So Eli just went home to use soap. And I'm just watching Bill. So we've got uh, big piles over there. I just sorted everything out. If it's still raining tomorrow, then Eli and I will pull those piles apart and mulch what we can and stack what we can. driving.
We are making a lot of progress. Bill is getting angry at that old burn pile. Cleaned all those trees up. I gotta cut those stumps lower. Tomorrow, the rest of those trees come down. We're gonna remulch this whole area, smooth it out nicely. Do that little area there. Do that tree line over there, right down across, down over the hill. Uh, hope we don't get stuck again. So I just greased the rotator, and I'm gonna go do something else. This weather sucks. This morning, Eli and I had to go to Charlotte to keep working on that job, and on our way by, you you pass the international dealer. And as I drove by, I saw this silver HX tandem sitting in the front lineup. And it wasn't there yesterday because I watched that parking lot like a hawk. And I'm like, that looks a lot like the one I specced. Mind you, I was just told last Wednesday that it was built Tuesday. So I was thinking, there's no way that in six seven days it came from the plant to the dealer here in Vermont so I texted the salesman I was trying not to get overly excited and he's like oh I don't know I it wasn't there yesterday no shit and uh, but let me find out and then he texts me back he's like it's yours and I'm like what so we just finished for the day in Charlotte and I am going to swing by the dealership because I am trying to hold it together like an adult and not get too excited but I am very excited. What's going on? Bill just called, said that they've got a uh, <sighs> O-ring leaking on the uh, excavator. So I'm gonna stop at Abishan, grab an O-ring. I ordered an O-ring kit from Napa, but they didn't have it today for delivery. So hopefully tomorrow, go over there, tear that apart and fix it real quick. All right, just got here to the job. Replace the O-ring on the thumb fitting that goes into the junction box and tighten up another fitting that was leaking once we turned the thumb over. The um, reason that had to happen was one of the hoses, one of the fittings got cleaved off the rotobec. So Loaded that back in. I take that back to the shop, and got to get an easy out to get the rest of the fitting out, and find a new fitting, and get that thing back in action. That's not a priority right now. Gonna fill up Eli's fuel tank right now. So, he's got the ripper on right now, getting some stumps out of the ground in that field area. Eli's cleaning up some mulching over there. Um, the guys added some work, so basically we were supposed to be out of here this morning, but that's not the case.
Morning. Brian is cleaning off the trailer. Say hi, Brian. We're on this new job in Plainfield. Took us about an hour and 15 minutes to get here. It is 34 degrees and feels like winter time again. So we're on a probably a three acre mulching job. Um, that's the area right there. About three acres that was previously clear cut. Eli's getting the skid steer ready to go. We just unloaded. We'll go up and do a quick overview of the project. All right, so here we are on this three acre lot. Eli just got started, but it looks like it should be a pretty straightforward job. It's all two to three inch whips, and it's a pretty perfect rectangle. It's not super steep, so I don't think we're going to need the skid or the excavator for anything. Looks like a pretty straightforward job. We'll have to see how far he gets in one day. Here we are, typical urban project on a hill that you'd find in San Francisco. I just had to drop the two ton excavator, chalk the wheels on the trailer because the only parking spot was on that hill. So I assume we'll either be able to hook back up to it or pull it out of the second floor of that building down there at the bottom of the hill. Now we need to weasel into place, put some cardboard down, cardboard, put some plywood down to keep from making tracks and weasel this little machine between the garages. It's a big pain in the butt. And if you watched my last video, you could probably guess which job this is. We're going to move this garden onto that tarp and we're going to squeeze back here and remove this pile of stuff. So let's give her a try. I don't think we hurt the flowers. 
All right, here we are. Let's finish this up. Got as much out of here as we could. Saved them the vine for some reason. And we're out of here. Job was a little bit of a pain, but two hours and 1500 bucks later, we're headed home. Good morning. <clears throat> Day one of standing in the shop while I delegate everything occurring outside in the yard. Not sure how it's going. I just hope today goes better than yesterday. Uh, today we're going to, Brian and I are gonna go do a grading job here in town. Got a subcontractor bringing materials. We're gonna get that done. And then uh, Bill and Eli are going to grab the excavator from Charlotte, take it down to Plainfield and get the skid steer and mulcher out of the mud and truck them both home so if that all goes as planned today i'll be a little bit happier all right just got the stuff dropped off that's the driveway we're doing down there i'm going to grab the bucket and the plate compactor drop it off we're going to do a little scraping out and get ready for the incoming loads of material. We've got her all ready for the new material. Now we're just waiting on trucks. Got ourselves a homeowner helper. All right, so they dropped off two loads down at the bottom. I just spread that all out. They're bringing back a third load. I put down about a foot right up the middle of this main section and now I'm going to use the Harley rake. I'm going to go down just offset from center on the right and the left to keep alternating keeping my Harley rake straight and that will cuff off enough to fill in the edges and I'll maintain that crown shape. I'll get that compacted and then the next truck load will come down and get dumped at the bottom and we're going to use that to fill in any low spots and uh, get it all crowned again and roll it. I'm grading I've got it in creep mode that's the reason I don't like using a, or a Kubota skids here because they don't have creep mode and I don't like fiddling with the joystick all the time set it and forget it those first passes I could kind of bulldoze the excess material now I'm starting to fine grade a little bit more tickling maybe taking an inch or so at a time.
What's up? It's Friday afternoon, about 4.30. Eli's done for the day. He and Bill were able to get the Kubota unstuck down in Plainfield with the excavator. <clears throat> Bill brought the excavator back home. Got to get it cleaned out, clean the cab. I got the O-ring fixed on it. Get it all pressure washed. Get all this shit out of it. Uh, I gotta check the hydraulic oil because that leak that the O ring caused did cost us a bit of oil. So get that topped off. <clears throat> um, Bill went back to get the Kubota. So he should be back here shortly and be done for the day. Um, Today was successful. They got the machine unstuck, and Brian and I got the driveway done, like you saw. So, <clears throat> not a bad Friday for sure. I still need to get parts for the grapple. I got to get an easy out bigger than the one I have now, so I can get that fitting out. And then I just need to go buy a new fitting. Get this thing back into shape. I don't need it for a minute. So we'll put it back where it was. So anyway, overall the week was okay. Still working out some bugs. But uh, overall still got more done than if it was just Brian and I. So I consider that a win. <clears throat> I guess I'm going to try to do one video a week doing this vlog type stuff I hope people like it I'm gonna show snippets of each job and uh, hopefully when the new guys get rolling I can do more management stuff and uh, go around and get some footage for you guys so I appreciate you guys watching this video and we'll see you next week have a good day